Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a local beer. A local beer from Fatheads Brewing Company located in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. This is the Green Grunge IPA. Checks in at 6.5% alcohol by volume and the IBUs are 65. According to the date stamp on the bottom, this beer is 92 days old. So, generally speaking, for IPAs, I like them to be about 90 days or less. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get my bowl over here just in case we have an accident. All right. I tell you what, you have one accident with a beer around your electronics, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And then you'll say, oh, I see what Dr. Dave's talking about. I have plenty of glassware from Fatheads, but I don't have the proper glassware. This is a good IPA glassware that will showcase the beauty of this beer and build up some lovely foam. So there we go. There we have it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This is going to be a West Coast style IPA because it is clear as a bell. <laughs> it is clear. And you can see the carbonation flowing up from the bottom there. Maybe not. Ah, uh, man, beautiful golden, yeah, golden amber color. Amber, golden, golden amber, whatever you like. And with plenty of white foam on there. Yeah, finally, a West Coast style IPA. There we go, baby. You know, I like New England style IPAs. I really do. But, man, the market is so saturated with, with those IPAs. Yeah, I have to uh, constantly go online and order some beer or trade with somebody that lives out there on the West Coast. I tell you what, Oregon is uh, a really good state for some good West Coast style, along with California, of course. Man, but I'm telling you, around these parts, forget about it. <laughs> oh, see, I told you, I told you, I told you. Oh, there's plenty of pine in here along with some citrus. Now, nah, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Hey, I want to thank the brewers at Fatheads. Man, they put in their heart and soul to every batch of beer that they brew. And they've been so successful over the years. Yeah, I hope they don't uh, sell their franchise out like some other uh, people we know in town here. I won't mention any names. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? I'll mention a name. Platform. Yeah, the people at Platform. But $15 million, that's a lot of money, man. You st you throw $15 million at a couple guys, you know, and that's tough money to turn down, isn't it? But now their brewery is closed. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Yeah. At any rate, my friends, uh, many thanks to the brewers there at Fatheads, and cheers to you at home. Oh, man. I wonder if this is on tap at the brewery. I might have to call out there because I bet this is really killer on tap. Oh, man. Mmm. Got that dankness in there. You got that pine. You got some grapefruit. You got some citrus in there. Look at that beer. Look, look how I poured that. Isn't that beautiful? I got lucky. What can I tell you? I got lucky, Chucky. Mm. See, this goes to prove that you don't need uh, a lot of alcohol and you don't need IBUs that are over the top. Well, what I mean by that is 100 to have a good tasting beer. This has 6.5% alcohol, 65 IBUs, and it's well balanced. You got some nice hops in there. Man, I'm telling you, you got a good malt backbone to start with, but it very quickly turns to all hops. You got that pine, you got the grapefruit, you got that lovely citrus. Mm. And you got that nice dry bitter finish. 
It's not too dry and it's not too bitter. Everything is just balanced perfectly. Nice bitterness, nice dryness. Yeah, in my opinion, this is just about as good as you're going to get for a uh, IPA. It's not going to offend anybody. It should not offend most people. If, if you have a friend who's never had an IPA and they're on the fence about it, this would be a good introduction. And I tell you, I don't think you can see it on camera. Maybe you can. That head is so rocky. I mean, that's the great indicator of a well-crafted beer. It doesn't matter how clean the glass is. It doesn't matter how I pour it in. It matters how that head settles in. And right now, it is rocky. It looks like the Rocky Mountains. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is rocky. And look at the lacing. Oh, I mean, this is a well-crafted beer. You're not going to get much better than this, if at all. Mm. That's why Fatheads is consistently a winner in all the beer competitions. They have gold, they have silver, they have bronze. Every single event they enter, they win. And it shows. I mean it shows. And their new uh their new state of the art uh, brewery I have not been to. Um, I went to the old one. I have not been to the new one because I moved away before it was completed. But, man, I, I would love to get over there if I could get a designated driver. Uh, Uber would be expensive to go there and back. But, man, I would love to see that. I bet it's just fabulous, man. I bet they got all kinds of taps out there. Now, um, I still go to the uh, brew pub that's located in North Olmstead, but. Uh, they have a new state-of-the-art brewing facility in the Middleburg, and man, it is it is uh, it is something to see. I've seen pictures of it, but I haven't been there. Uh, yeah, if you've ever had any beers from Fatheads, let me know. I don't know the distribution network on Fatheads. I don't know how many states they're in. I uh, have they're big though. They're big. Man, look at that! Look at that beer. I know all my friends uh, on the West Coast and in the mountain states, when I send them fatheads, they, all they rave about it. Man, I say, wow, that is great beer. And this is coming from people in Colorado, one of, one of the best beer capitals in the United States. And they say, wow, that is great beer. Yeah, the same thing in uh, California. Yeah, man, because California, that's where the beer – well, I don't, I don't think that's where the beer uh, movement began, but they're one of the pioneers. I think the, the beer movement really began in Colorado, Oregon, and Washington State. And I could be wrong about that, but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, in the 1970s, all the people out there on the West Coast, they all just got together and said, we need better beer. <laughs> and that uh, eventually followed here on the East Coast in the 1980s. Yeah, our uh, Great Lakes Brewing Company was the first one here. They still make some great beer. They're getting a little complacent, though. You know, kind of, kind of like Boston Beer Company. Uh, when, once the, once you get to be a certain size, it seems like you become complacent. You don't come out with groundbreaking beers anymore. They leave that up to the smaller breweries. So, uh, at any rate, this is a great beer. This is a full-bodied beer with a full mouthfeel. Light to medium carbonation. It's not over carbonated at all. It's a great beer. If you get a chance, please try it. All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy and try new things like this beer right here from Fat Heads Brewery. In the meantime, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they charge me $2.00. 
$2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. 
Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. And um, this is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Day's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera. But I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.